In this video, we're looking at VOR instrument approach procedures, and we'll use the VOR approach for runway 06 at Charleroi in Belgium as our example. The VOR approach is a Type A 2D approach which is normally combined with a DME station, and it's designed to take you down to an absolute minimum height of 250 feet above the runway. As you can see here, these 2D approaches are not always aligned with the runway centerline. Instead, they're simply designed to allow you to descend to a point from which you can visually maneuver to line up with the runway and land. But there's quite a few things we need to consider before we get to this point, so let's take a few steps back to before I started the instrument approach and look over the Jeppesen plate so we know exactly what to expect along this VOR approach. As always, we're going to start with an approach briefing, so we're properly prepared for our upcoming approach. So this is the approach briefing for the VOR runway 06 at Charleroi in Belgium. It's plate 13-1, effective from the 21st of April 2022. The ATIS, I've received information Papa. Charleroi approach 128.725 is set active in COM1, and the next frequency, Charleroi tower 121.305 is set in standby of COM1. Ground frequency 121.805 is set active in COM2. The VOR Gulf Sierra Yankee frequency 115.7 is set in both NAV1 and NAV2. It's auto idented and the CDI is set to our current track to the VOR of 268 degrees. The final approach course is 074 degrees and the final approach fix is at D5.8 with mandatory altitude 2500 feet. Minimum descent altitude is 1,040 feet, which I'll add 50 feet as per my SOPs, making my minimum altitude 1,090 feet, which is set in the minimums window. The airport elevation is 606 feet, and the runway elevation is 604 feet. The MSAs are valid within 25 miles of the Gulf Sierra Yankee VOR. From the sector I'm arriving in, the MSA is 2,600 feet, and that's the highest MSA of all the sectors. In the event of a missed approach, climb straight ahead on radial 074. At D7, turn right, inbound to the VOR, climbing to altitude 3000 feet. I'm expecting to fly the procedural approach, and I'm currently inbound to the Gulf Sierra Yankee. From there, the outbound track for Cat A is 265 degrees, descending to altitude 2500 feet. At D8, left turn to intercept the final approach track 074 degrees. Continuing at 2,500 feet to the final approach fix, which is at D5.8. From there, I'll commence a normal 3 degree descent path, which, at my approach speed of 100 knots, and with about a 10 knot headwind, gives me a rate of descent of approximately 500 feet per minute. And I'll cross check my descent against the altitude table as I go. Descending to a minimum altitude of 1,090 feet, the minimum RVR is 1,500 meters. The latest ATIS indicated a 600 foot cloud base and a visibility of 3000 meters, so I'm expecting to become visual slightly before minima. Lastly, considering threat and error management for this approach, it's a 2D procedural approach that I'm planning to hand fly single pilot, so the workload will be fairly high. To manage that, I'll remind myself of each step along the way, and if I fall outside of any of the tracking limits, or if I'm simply not happy with the workload, I'll initiate a go around. Secondly, although the weather is above minima, it's only slightly above, so I won't assume that I'll become visual and I'll be ready to initiate a go around as I approach 1,090 feet. Approach briefing complete, so jumping back into the cockpit and I'm tracking 268 degrees to the Gulf Sierra Yankee VOR at 4,000 feet. Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra. Continue inbound the Gulf Sierra Yankee. Descend to altitude 3,000 feet. QNH 1032. Continue inbound the Gulf Sierra Yankee, descend to altitude 3000 feet, QNH 1032, Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra. I'll set the altitude bug to 3000 feet. I'll confirm the QNH 1032 is set on both altimeters and cross checked, and I'll disable the autopilot and hand fly from here. I'm planning to fly the descent at 140 knots, then when I level off, I'll slow to 120. 3,000 feet is the altitude that the procedure starts at, so I'm expecting to continue to the VOR and be cleared for the approach any moment now. Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra, cleared for the VOR runway 06 procedural approach. 
cleared for the VOR runway 06 procedural approach, Delta Victor India Delta Sierra. So, cleared for the approach, taxi light goes on. I'm approaching 3000 feet, but I'm also just about to overfly the VOR and start the outbound leg, where I need to descend to altitude 2500 feet. So I won't level off now, instead I'll set the altitude bug to 2500 and continue the descent. As I'm just about to pass the VOR, I'll set the NAV1 CDI to the outbound track of 265 degrees, and I'll set the NAV2 CDI to the final approach track of 074. Now that I'm stable on the outbound track, I'll open the approach checklist. This checklist is your last opportunity to make sure everything is definitely set correctly for the upcoming approach. One incorrect frequency or misset radial could ruin the whole approach and possibly your instrument rating test too. Approach checklist, landing data received, altimeters, set and cross checked, COM NAV FMS, COM 1 is set to approach, tower 121.305 is in standby, COM 2 set to ground 121.805. NAV1 and NAV2 both set to the Gulf Sierra Yankee VOR, both auto identified and the CDI is set. FMS, the approach is loaded just to improve situational awareness. Seat belts fastened. Fuel selectors are on. Parking brake released. Rudder trim centered. Gear lights and warnings are tested. Approach checklist complete. I've come 150 foot off my altitude while I was doing that, so I need to correct that before I do anything else. DME distance is 6.5 and I'm turning at 8D, so I've got about 1 mile to go. I'll hold my heading and set the CDI to the final approach track of 074 degrees. Before I turn, I'll set my heading bug. There's 8 miles, so I'll start the left turn to intercept the final approach track. As I progress through this turn, I want to monitor the CDI to see if I'm going to turn onto the final approach perfectly, if I'm going to overshoot it, or what looks more likely in this case is that I'll be undershooting the final approach track, so I'll need to roll wings level just a little bit early so that I can intercept that 074 to the VOR. So I've rolled wings level there and I'll just hold this heading briefly and wait for the CDI to move towards centered. I'm still at 8 miles and the descent starts at 5.8 so I've got about 2 miles to go. Now that I'm established on the final approach track, I'll set the altitude bug for the missed approach which has me climbed to 3000 feet. I'll also check the wind to confirm the rated descent that I require along the final approach. The G1000 is indicating a 15 knot headwind so for 100 knot final approach speed, I'll have a ground speed of about 85 knots and need a rate of descent of about 450 feet per minute. Half a mile before the start of the descent now, so I'll confirm the QNH 1032 is set. I'll select the gear down, select approach flap, then reduce the power and pitch down to start my descent. At this point, when I'm starting the descent, my focus is entirely on getting the correct power and pitch attitude set and getting the aircraft trimmed. 40% power and 2.5 degrees pitch down should work well for a 100 knot approach in this aircraft in this configuration, so that's my starting point. Ok, I'm stable and trimmed in this descent and the first check altitude is 5 miles at 2290 feet. There's 5 miles and I'm just passing 2290 feet so I'm on profile. While focusing on the altitude, I can see I've come slightly right of the final approach track, so I'll make a small left turn, making sure to maintain the same pitch attitude while I turn, and I'll hold this new heading and wait for the CDI to come back towards centered. The next check altitude at 4 miles is 1970 feet. I'm at 4.1 miles and I can see I've already descended below that altitude, so I'll pitch up slightly, only 1 or 2 degrees, and hold this new attitude giving the correction time to work. 
Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra, Contact Tower, 121.305. Contact Tower, 121.305, Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra. Charleroi Tower, Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra, VOR established, 3 miles. Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra, Charleroi Tower, surface wind, 06, 0 degrees, 1, 2 knots, runway 06, cleared to land. Runway 06, clear to land, Delta, Victor India, Delta Sierra. I'm cleared to land, so I'll turn the landing light on. At 3 miles, altitude should be 1650 feet. I'm about 70 foot low, so I'll keep holding this slightly higher pitch attitude and give that correction more time to work. I've just passed 1000 foot above the runway, so I'll confirm my approach is stable and conduct the landing checklist. Flaps set. Gear, three greens, rudder trim, neutral. Landing checklist complete. At two miles, altitude should be 1330 feet. 200 to go. Approaching my minima, I'll look outside and I'm visual, so I'll continue. That's the end of this VOR approach, and I hope you found this video useful on your journey to becoming an instrument rated pilot. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us to reach more people. For everything you need to pass your EASA or UK instrument rating and commercial pilot license tests, check out our online course at clearflight.co.uk.